thesmartlocal.com Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Pretty Smart. My name is Cheryl Kajum and today you guys will be getting to know a little bit more about me because I will be drawing my life. I'm slightly nervous about this because I keep my life very personal but today I'm going to open up and share with you guys. I was born on 6th of April 1993 on a full moon night. And my first home was in Pasir Ris and that's like the largest home I've ever lived in thus far. Up till about when I was 4 or 5 years old, we moved to Tampines and here's why. We were like any other family, I was the only child and life's relatively good until my mom and dad divorced, which was why we had to downgrade to a new home and my dad went off to start another family. It was a very confusing phase at that age for me but it eventually became a norm and life goes on. My mom had to work very hard to make sure that I get the best. And the awesomest choice we made was getting a Chanelza puppy and we named her Cookie. I went to Siglap Secondary School and that was when I started to make really good friends and actually enjoyed being in school. I joined the drama club and spent too much time at the library so I became a librarian. One day, my discipline master appointed me to read the morning announcements in front of the entire school. I was not very confident, I was wearing braces and was a little awkward but he saw something in me so I decided to pick up some courage and just do it. My friends were always so supportive of me in the crowd and from then on I was known as the announcement girl. Back home my mom met a new man and very soon they became partners. While I was very busy having the time of my life in school, I was in the normal academic stream in secondary 1 and I did really well and emerged top 4 in my entire cohort. So in secondary 2, I was promoted to the express stream and I had to leave the friends I hung out with but eventually I made really good ones later on too. When my mom broke the news of her new partner and her to me, I was a little suspicious of this man. However, over the years, I saw how happy he made my mom and I was happy too. In the express stream, I actually became top 4 from the bottom. My O-level results were not that good to get me to the course I wanted in poly. I was posted to Tomasic Poly's engineering course, which was so not me. So I auditioned for a spot in NAFA for their theatre arts course and I got it. The three years in NAFA, I learned to sing, dance and act. It was the best training ground and I made the closest friends in my life right now. We call ourselves the molecules because we vibrate and we get along with each other very well. Upon graduating with a diploma, I received a call that I've wanted with all my heart. I bawled so hard. I was offered a job at Universal Studios Singapore as a full-time performer host. Nearing the end of my contract, however, I received a phone call that halted all my plans. It was a call from my mom telling me that he is not here with us anymore. He passed on from a heart attack. It was so painful to see my mom so shattered and broken. I was supposed to embark on a solo trip to Europe and London, but because of this news, I told my mom to join me for my trip instead. It was a budget trip, so we had to backpack and it was memorable. <laughs> Upon returning to Singapore, my friend told me to try out for the Pretty Smart competition, so I did. I made it to top 12 and then to top 4 and I'm so so thankful to win. Also receiving the news on my 23rd birthday really topped the cake. Currently, I am very grateful and happy to be able to still freelance and survive by doing the things I love. All of this would not have been possible without the love and support from all of you. So don't forget to take heart and be kind and I will see you guys next time. I will draw a little hearts for each and every one if I can. Now thank you guys so much for watching and I love you guys so so much. Mwah.